I got you. I know you were with uh, the men in Pen at Pen Relays, but when you saw or heard about Jada's record, what was your first reaction? Oh, so it's, it's really actually, her it's record. actually great. I was actually on the airplane flying back, yeah. and uh, I have Nate sending me text messages, and he's like, Jada just second throw just threw a big one, and I said, how big? He goes. I don't know yet, but Blue threw both arms up. <laughs> so I was like, oh, that means that's a good thing because Blue doesn't get that excited. <laughs> so um, anyways, he said he got the steel tape out and to find out she threw 1971 again, um, which means you know how it is in any kind of sporting event. Someone puts up 70 points like, oh, fluke night, or you know, someone throws something big or runs fast. Oh, it's kind of a fluke. Jada just backed up that 1971 with the second 1971 and then followed it up with perhaps the greatest series in NCAA history. So... Um, her throwing is just through the roof and outstanding right now, and yeah, it couldn't happen to a better individual. So we're we're really excited about her. As a coach, as a staff, what's it like to see you know when you you've invested in her progress too to see kind of that paying off? Oh, yeah, absolutely, and and, and this is the best part about it. it. You know, obviously, I've only got to know Jada here for the last year and a half. I want to talk about a quality individual. She is just outstanding in every way for this team, for this program, and what she does. I mean, you just you don't find better than that. And then to have her have the kind of success that she's having, I mean, we couldn't be more thrilled. She was talking about how she just got into like weightlifting when she got to college and things like that. I mean, does it feel like her ceiling is still? I was just had that conversation with uh, Coach Blutcher today, and he's like, she's she's got 20 meters in her. She's got she's got 20 meters in her. So um, how far into the 20s? I don't know, but she's gonna. He's confident she's gonna throw 20 meters. <laughs> Is she somebody that you can use as a role model across events be like, hey, you know, stick to the program and you will see the marks go up if you put in the work? Yeah. Jada, you see it across the board. Everybody cheers for Jada. Jada cheers for everybody. She is one of those glue people on our team. She knows every event area. It doesn't matter if it's just the throws or not. She knows every event area and she is just well respected by everybody. How excited should everybody be, not sure just for like NCAAs and Eugene, but the trials? how jam-packed it should be to see Oregon to potentially make it, especially out of college. Yeah, right Right now, and I know it's early season, and as college athletes, we're a little bit ahead of the, the track season, so to speak. But uh, I think right now, Jada's ranked seventh in the world with that throw. Um, that's, I mean, yeah. I mean, she has a chance to make the Olympic team. You know how, I mean, for the crowd here at the Olympic trials, they have an, an Oregon duck, you know, doing that, that's that's always huge. So we're, we're super excited, and... Um, you know, we've a long way to go yet, a lot of season to go, but like I said, if she keeps going down the road, she's going down. It's uh, She's going to be competitive for sure. You talk about taking the step from having the one big throw to then the series and backing it up. Like, to the layman, though, they might ask, is she peaking too early? I mean, because there is still a lot of season there, left. Like, there is a lot of season left. Yeah, I, I don't think she's too peaking, peaking too early. Coach Blue Trick is in charge of all that, and he's he's really good at what he does. <laughs> I uh, got the Oregon Twilight coming up. What are you looking to get out of your team this weekend? Yeah, so the Oregon Twilight obviously is a really fun meet. It's it's the week before the conference meet, so it's not one of these high powered. Got to come in and get a lot of stuff done. We're just kind of fine tuning a few things. Um, the meet's going to be really fun. It's senior day, so uh, you know that's always great for our seniors just to be able to you know put them out in front of the crowd one last time and and have them you know give them their due for for four or five years of, of hard work here. We also have a little performance window between eight and nine um, in the evening, which um, will showcase the uh, Chesney 1500, which is something we always like to do here. Um, we also have the women's uh, 1500, which is gonna be very high quality. The 5Ks will be great. So that little evening window, um, you know, I, I'm someone who checks the weather a lot and um, it was perfect yesterday. And now today they're showing rain. So I was a little frustrated by that, but we're gonna still have a great meet. So um, we'll see where that goes. But that will performance window should be kind of fun in the meet. Um, we have a middle school mile, which I think is always fun for, for the middle school kids. Uh, we have the, the half lapper with the duck. So, you know, just some fun things, I think, for, for our crowd and our younger groups. Um, other than that, I think the Twilight should be a, it should be a great meet. Like I said, a little tune-up for us. You have uh, quite a few guys entered in quite a few events. Have you narrowed down what <laughs> everybody's going to be doing on Friday? Everyone will be, most people will be towing the line of the track. We're still not positive. Like some might be in the, some pacing duties. Some, we have a couple things that we still have to get done before pack 12s that we want to run some marks. Um, no, it's not narrowed down completely yet, um, but we're working on it. 
Yeah. A lot, will, a lot will depend on, on at this afternoon's practice. Well, let's talk Penria a little bit. Part of one of the greatest four by miles of all time yeah. in collegiate history. And then that four by eight just coming up one second from a pen wheel. What did you see from the four guys that traveled over to Philadelphia last week? Yeah, so it was really fun. So taking those four guys over there, um, and we haven't been back at Penn, and I think, in a while. And, um, you know, we took four guys. And uh, the day before, we ran the DMR. And one of the, the – they were all saying, well – Oh, sorry, who's yeah, gonna, yeah, who's who's going to run the 400? And I said, well, it's going to be one of you because <laughs> we have four guys here. So, and they're like, okay. So we kind of figured that pieces out, and I thought that was a good opening leg for us, and they got a chance to be inside the stadium and take in the atmosphere of Penn. And then when they came back on Saturday, it was like a whole other comfort level for them. I could just tell they were like, oh, been here, done this, we know how this works, stand in the paddock for 20 minutes, whatever it is that they throw at you at Penn, which is, you know, it's one of those kind of meets. They were just ready for it. And then we talked the night before. We said, hey, you know, Texas a has got a really good team. They got an anchor who's run 144. Um, you know, that's that's pretty good. He's one of the best in the country. If not, I think he's got the fastest time in the country outdoors right now. And so we were like, okay, we got to find a way to put a little distance on them. So the way we organized our, our team, we thought this gives us the best shot to maybe put a little distance on AM and hopefully discourage him from, uh, from catching us. So we did a lot of work in that race only to be caught there in the <laughs> right at the end but it is what it is the guys did a really good job and um i was i was really proud of that effort and i think they'll be better for it going forward too what do you want to see from Devin in the 5k on friday uh, i think our main goal is just to get a regional qualifier we're not trying to run too hard just because he's got some work to do at the conference meet in, in less than a week um, so we'd like to get a regional qualifier and just make sure that that's an option on the table for us at regionals if we want to try to pursue the five we're going to make a decision probably on the five or the ten um, but it, we can't do it right now since he hasn't run a five yet um, so getting a regional qualifier would be the main objective of that race try not to do it in boulder don't want to do it in boulder i think that might be a little bit tougher with with five thousand feet of elevation <laughs> now the distance runners i think everyone on our track team is going to like boulder i think the distance runners are going to be like oh <laughs> okay. so, so I guess that how do you guys approach it that way? Obviously knowing the, t the dis disadvantage of being at elevation. You, you know, it, 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 the only team that's advantaged by the elevation is Colorado. Everybody else is in the same boat. So we know that that's the way it is. And um, we're going to come in ready to go regardless of the elevation so, or the weather. <laughs>